Thank you so much for joining us. I have two very special friends with me. This is Jill Holder, the Food and Nutrition Department Director from our Gallatin Valley Food Bank, and Ruby West, eighth grader at Sacagawea Middle School. You are a very fun pair that has gotten paired up for a very fun cause. Now, Ruby, I'm gonna start with you. You are a middle school student. You recently got back. We, we did the story last week. You went down to LA. You're a Time Kids reporter. Mm -hmm. And so, I, in my opinion, you're a go-getter. You're, you're all over the map. And now you've come back and you said, now I want to keep helping locally and I want to help out at my school. So tell us a little bit about this, this food drive that you want um, to do. Okay. So um, I am doing a spring for food drive. And, you know, I'm on Governor Bullock's Youth Leadership Council uh, that helps fight childhood hunger. And, um, you know, I'm really passionate about this because I feel like it's a basic human right for every kid to have nutritious food and enough of it. And um, it's really sad that. Some kids don't have that, and um, so I really want to help them. And this week, April 3rd through 10th, we're doing a big school food drive with almost every school in the area uh, where there will be donation bids. And if just one kid could, or if every kid could just bring in one can, it'll help a ton of people. Absolutely. Now, Jill, that's where you come in because Ruby reached out to you and said, I know you guys are already doing Spring for Food, but I want to make it localized to my middle school. So tell us a little bit about the, the few changes this year that we can expect for Spring for Food. Well, we decided to try to make it easier for everybody. And so Ruby's got her part, which she's rallying the troops at the schools. Um, but we're going to be at every grocery store in the area on April 6th. And um, there's two hour time shifts that people can go hand out wish lists and encourage people to donate. So that makes it kind of easy because people have got to come in, they're grabbing a couple of things for dinner yeah. or maybe they're on their lunch break yeah. and they say, here's my little wish list, I'm going to grab a couple of extra cans of soup or fruit or whatever the case may be and then they, it's just an easy drop off location. Yeah, awesome. and I think because we'll hit every grocery store, hopefully there'll be a lot of food. I love that. Now if you happen to not be at the grocery store that day but you still want to help, mm -hmm. a good way to do that? You can drop off at the grocery stores at any donation bin. You can come by the food bank. There's lots of ways to help. Uh, if you can volunteer, that's even better. I think we still have 32 spots available for volunteers. Excellent. It's a great way to involve kids. So if, correct me if I'm wrong, April 6th is this coming Saturday. It is. Excellent. OK. And your food drive starts on the 3rd, running through the 10th? Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Okay, so so many different ways to help out. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Ruby, Jill, thank you so much for being here with us bright and early on this Monday morning. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a short moment. Stay with us.